What's going on everybody? This is Lee Kirby Dicko Comics here and in this video I'll be showing you guys a better closer look inside the original pages of my copy of Batman number one from 1940 so uh, let's get into it. Alright here we have it out of the bag and board. Absolutely beautiful copy. Beautiful cover. Great Bob Kane artwork. As we flip it open here, we have the micro chamber paper, of course, inside this beauty. We got the splash page, of Batman. One page origin story here. Great shot of Batman there. Here's the uh, first story with the Joker. First time you ever see the Joker. Such a great splash page. Really a uh, decent page quality as well. Really nice off-white pages. Super awesome Joker artwork in here. We're almost at the end of this Batman story. The first one. There's the last page of this Batman story. Joker in jail. Pigs being box. And this next story is really awesome. It must have taken place before Robin's first appearance because he's not in this uh, story. Um, with uh, Hugo Strange. And this is one of my favorite stories in this book and you'll see why in a second. Love seeing that, Batman. In the bat plane. Love that too. That reminds me of uh, the cover of, I believe, Tech 35. Yeah. 
needle cover. This is some really great artwork though for a book that came out in 1940. Still looks fantastic artwork today. 75 years later. Really nice pages though. Not not brittle at all. Really nice, consistent, off-white. And this is one of my favorite uh, panels in the book right there. Batman says, as much as I hate to take human life, I'm afraid this time it's necessary. And he actually hangs, kills Hugo Strange. He's probably better off this way. Crazy. Really cool. I thought this was kind of funny. It was like uh, King Kong. He goes strange on top of that building. And uh, Batman's in his bat plane shooting at him. And that was really sweet. The Batman appearing, in, appearing every month in Detective Comics. Nice. Next story it does feature the Robin. I believe this is the third appearance of the Robin as well because it came out in between Tech uh, 39 and 40. So this came out right after Tech 39, but before Tech 40. So um, Robin first appeared in Tech 38. So really early Robin appearance. Love that shot of Batman up there. And this book also features, along with the first appearance of the Joker, it features the first appearance of Catwoman when she was known as the Cat. And it's, uh, so it's the first Lane Kyle. Love those two panels as well. Shows the love connection already. How uh, Batman has to say no to Catwoman, so as they work on different sides of the law. Love that. And of course, advertising the other DC titles at the time. And I believe this is the last story with the Joker. And then of this story is actually really interesting as well. I'll show you when we get to it. Again, this is a gigantic book. I mean, there's so many so many stories and unlike a lot of the Silver Age and Bronze Age and later books there's not a lot not a whole lot of ads in this book it's mainly all story and artwork so yeah I think this is the last couple pages of this story uh, so right here Joker and Batman fighting Joker pulls out a knife stabs himself 
laughing like it's the end of the Joker. And then right here, they had it as if Joker was going to die. But then this panel was added to ensure readers that the Joker will live on. Because I guess they realized Joker was just such an amazing villain. They could not, could not just let him die. So, really cool though. Really interesting. Let's flip this one. There's the last page. Ad for Detective Comics number 40. As we flip the back cover closed. There's the beautiful pinup on the back cover. Absolutely beautiful. Really nice white. Beautiful colors. Just amazing back cover as well. And yeah guys, that's going to be all for this uh, This Let's Look Inside. My copy of Batman number one. So yeah guys, that's going to be all for this video. Uh, make sure to hit that like button down below if you enjoyed watching. Comment your thoughts down below what you think of this book. And if you have already, make sure to hit that subscribe button to see all my future comic book videos. And yeah guys, that's going to be all. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Routine question. Have you recently sold any war surplus submarines, and if so, to whom? Salt and corrosion. The infamous old enemies of the crime fighter. Here, take my bat radio. I looked it up this morning. That class of missile receives on a wavelength of 164.1. I'd say the odds against it would make even the most reckless gambler cringe. True, I did think I'd spotted it out of the corner of my eye. Let's go but inconspicuously through the window. True, Robin. It was noble of that animal to hurl himself into the path of that final torpedo. He gave his life for ours. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Nevertheless, shall we give this matter further consideration over dinner tonight? Indeed, Al. I've rarely met a girl who's such a potent argument in favor of international relations. A stretch. I close my eyes and I dream of something quite astonishingly different. And all my days are trances, and all my nightly dreams are where thy dark eye glances, and where thy footsteps Gleams. Miss Kitka, I have the strangest feeling that I am about to be utterly and madly carried away. Do we dare? Why not? Yes, of course, why not? Of what use is a dream if not a blueprint for courageous action? Capitalists like myself who carry large sums of money often have such safety contrivances. Show me, Miss Kitka, or I'll wreck this place with my dying breath. You filthy criminals. Surrender! You criminals! You abominable outlaws. Batman to Coast Guard. Batman to Coast Guard. There is a drifting submarine two miles east of Sandy Nose Lightship. It's filled with human jetsam. They may be drinkers, Robin, but they're also human beings. It's a low neighborhood full of rum pots. They're used to curious sights, which they attribute to alcoholic delusions. Whoever dehydrated those pirates could not have foreseen their accidental rehydration with the heavy water we use in recharging the atomic pile. You saw it yourself, Robin. The slightest impact was sufficient to instantly reduce them to antimatter. No, Robin. No. It's not for mortals like us to tamper with the laws of nature. Let that be an object lesson in the dangers of tampering with the laws of Mother Nature. United World Organization. Precisely, Robin. You mean... Precisely, Robin. Precisely. Precisely, Robin. The only possible meaning. Let's commandeer a taxi. No, Robin. Brace yourself, Robin. We're going down. This could be the end. 
Our job is finished. 